Ah, choices in video games. Do you cut off Lee's infected arm or do you leave it be? Who do you sacrifice on Vermeer, Caden or Ashley? Do you keep hiding in Chloe's closet or do you take the blame for her weed? Choices help make a game not just a passive experience, but a personal one. Throughout the years, we've seen a range of games that utilize choice in pivotal plot moments to games that use choice as a sole mechanic in their gameplay. And today, we're reviewing one of those titles, Interior Nights As Dust Falls. For those of you who are out of the loop, As Dust Falls is that one artistic 2D paint animated game that you've seen pop up across several Xbox showcases. More specifically, it's an original interactive story where your choices impact the lives of several families over the span of 14 years after a robbery goes wrong. So how does As Dust Falls compare to other interactive story games, and is this a must play of 2022? Let's find out. Yo, what are you doing? You cannot just skip to the review score. Take that option away, we're doing the damn review. Roll the title card. Interactive story games, AKA interactive dramas, AKA interactive films, AKA choice-based narrative games, have always been a staple of the gaming world. One of the earliest and most recognizable interactive story games was Don Blue's Dragon's Lair. In the game, players would be prompted with time directional commands that they would have to complete in order to move the animated story forward. If you failed, well, that would be it, and you'd have to start again from the very beginning. And you'd do it, just for a glimpse of Princess Daphne at the end. This game would suck down your quarters the way Kasonic slurps down chili dogs, and yes, you heard me right, I did say slurp. Beep beep. Over the years, interactive story games have expanded across other genres. We've seen them venture into horror with super massive games Until Dawn, and even into FMVs, aka full motion videos like Night Trap, and more recently, Wales Interactive's The Complex. There's even AI-driven games that have dabbled with interactive choices. That's right, internet. I'm not letting you forget about that facade with Trip and Grace in their weird white people apartment decor. And just within these last 10 years, we've seen the interactive story genre go through a renaissance with titles like Heavy Rain, The Quarry, Detroit Become Human, and then also you got titles like Telltale's The Walking Dead, Telltale's The Wolf Among Us, Telltale's Tales from the Borderlands, Batman The Telltale Series, Guardians of the Galaxy The Telltale Series, Game of Thrones A Telltale Game Series, you get the gist. As Dust Falls is the first title from Interior Nights, an independent game studio headed by Caroline Mashal, a former lead game designer for Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. And since X-Play has mentioned Heavy Rain at least two times in this review already, you already know what's coming next. Sean. Sean! 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 Together, these interactive story veterans set out with one goal in mind to produce rich narrative games and experiences for people who love shows like Breaking Bad or Fargo, but who don't necessarily game, which is absolutely what their first game delivers. Unlike other recent interactive story games, As Dust Falls doesn't allow you to walk around or engage with the world outside of the choices and quick time events you participate in. You don't explore barns like Lee in The Walking Dead or search for tarot cards that give you clues like in The Quarry. Those games straddle both the action-adventure genre and interactive story genre. As Dust Falls is solely the latter. The narrative of As Dust Falls spans across 14 years with the central event being one tragic night at the Desert Dream Hotel. Throughout the game, players control one of three main characters. There's Vince Walker, a goofy dad trying to do right by his wife, his daughter, his dad, and himself. And then you have Jay Holt, an 18-year-old kid mixed up in the darkness of his family's choices. And then you got Zoe Walker. That's Vince's daughter, who's haunted by the ghosts of her childhood. The game takes place over six total chapters divided into two different books. Chapter one to three make up book one, and it's titled Collision. That mostly focuses on the 1998 Desert Dream Motel holdup and the events for all the characters leading up to it while chapters four to six fall within book two titled Expansion, and it's all about the aftermath of the events in book one. What happens in the past ultimately impacts the future, which is one of the most unique aspects of the game. Decisions you make as Jay and Vince in 1998 influence who Zoe grows up to be in 2012. The game is an excellent example of non-linear storytelling, which shouldn't be a surprise since two of the inspirations for this game are Breaking Bad and True Detective, which tell stories in a similar way. Now, we don't want to say much about the narrative since that's literally the whole game, but what we will say is it's definitely one of the most compelling stories that we've experienced. This story will leave you stressed, shocked, heartbroken, relieved, and in the end, ultimately satisfied. 
As Dust Falls narrative rivals the TV shows it's inspired by, and it's a testament to the creative team that Interior Night has put together. So we won't share it anymore so that you two can fully experience it for yourselves. Just let us know in the G4TV Discord if you decided to piss in the lemonade or not. You'll know when it happens. Just trust me, you'll know what I'm talking about. As I'm sure you've noticed by now, As Dust Falls has a rather unique art style. The game doesn't follow typical 3D mocap like your Beyond Two Souls or The Quarry. Instead, As Dust Falls takes a more traditional art approach and creates movement via stylized painted animated steels. It definitely takes some getting used to, but after the first chapter, I was fully into the art style of this game. Utilizing the painted stills allows the artists and developers to capture the nuance of human emotions. When paired with the voiceover performance of each of the actors, it truly feels like you're playing with real people in front of you, like an FNV game. I could see the fear in Jay's eyes and I could see the regret in Vince's furrowed brow. Being able to digitally paint your actors also helps you stay away from the testy troubles of 3D mocap animation, like the big gappy mouth holes. Now this style might not be for everyone, and that's okay. That's what makes video games such a unique medium. Artistic mediums in games can range from the hyper-realistic Hellblade sinuous sacrifice to the colorful stylized hyperlight drifter, as long as they serve what the game is giving to the player. And here, as Dust Falls unique style definitely serves its tragically theatrical human story. So now let's talk about the main gameplay element, choice. This game certainly has a lot of them, and thankfully each chapter comes with a handy dandy path map that allows you to see all the possible choices you can make. And for the most part, these choices are not shallow, except for maybe the Lemonade Piss one. Each choice comes with well-crafted dialogue and consequences that impact and further the story. Throughout most of the game, you're faced with conversational choices and action choices. These choices can often feature more than two options, and they usually daisy link to the next narrative beat of As Dust Falls. Then, at pivotal moments in the game, you'll be faced with a crossroads choice. Similar to a real crossroad, these are two definitive binary choices that majorly impact other characters in the ending of the game. The replayability in this game is very strong thanks to the variety of choices. It's easy to burn an hour or two going back to start a new save and try new choices in a chapter just to see where the story goes. The game even offers a community percentage feature, similar to the statistics in Telltale's The Walking Dead, to let you know how your choices compare to others who played the game. Like, I'm sure it's been updated now, but how did only 17% of players at the time we were playing not save the marriage? Y'all need some help. And there are a lot of different ways the story can go and end, many of which truly feel rewarding and earned depending on the story choices you picked along the way. To directly quote the game, sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. The other side of As Dust Falls gameplay is the quick time element. Thankfully, the QTEs feature a variety of actions, so you won't be bored of them by chapter two. In one instance, you'll be button mashing to wrangle a gun, and another moment, you'll be asked to rapidly spin the joystick around to clean dishes. And no, there's no off-screen sex QTEs like in God of War. But the most disappointing aspect of the quick time events, and arguably the game itself, is that a lot of them don't matter. There was a crucial moment where one of the characters was arrested, and I figured the game was going to end for them early. However, suddenly a quick time event popped up to break them out of their handcuffs. If you succeed at the QTE, you break out and escape. If you fail the QTE after three tries, the cutscene of the character breaking out of the handcuffs just immediately plays because the story just has to keep going. Look. I'm totally fine not having as many quick time events, just make the ones that do pop up impact the story. Now there are at least a few QTEs in the game that do have some kind of impact, but don't give me the option to fail if there isn't the ability to fail, you get me? I can fail in the quarry and get a dude's head shut in a bear trap because I missed a quick time event. But here, even if I fail a hot wire on a car, another character conveniently finds the keys and the story just keeps going. And that's what's ultimately tough about As Dust Falls. The game finds itself at a crossroads similar to the one it presents. On one end is its super rewarding narrative choice gameplay, and on the other, it's bad quick time events. Now, As Dust Falls isn't a game that you have to enjoy solo. The game features a co-op multiplayer mode that allows up to eight players to play through the story together via a controller, or they can play through the As Dust Falls app. Once in game, individual quick time commands are distributed between all players. So yes, you can f up your end of the dishwashing if you choose to. But the real fun comes with multiplayer decision making. During decisions, each player can cast their individual vote. And of course, like most democratic societies, the decision with the most votes wins. If you and your equal amount of friends create a tie, the game randomly picks your decision for you. And then there's the override feature. 
Each player is granted a set number of overrides per game. Think of it as like a veto. If they activate their override, their choice is immediately picked, no questions asked. So if you thought Mario Party got tense, just wait till you and your friends start fighting about which hostage to send out of the motel. As Dust Falls is arguably one of the most unique and compelling narrative games of 2022. You feel like you're in control of your own HBO series, directing the characters into the story you want to see, which is honestly really cool. And like a series, you can easily binge it all in one day, solo, or with some friends. As Dust Falls delivers compelling storytelling and unforgettable performances in a pristine package, in its beautifully painted style, this game reminds us that there are no simple choices in life and that every choice has consequences. Consequences that not only impact your future, but the future of others. But with great narrative should come great gameplay. And unfortunately, this is where the dust falls short. And that's why X-Play is giving As Dust Falls a four out of five.